Assalamualaikum friends my name is Muhammad welcome back to my channel presentation skills today I'll be teaching you how to create a cluster of solar and lunar system in PowerPoint without further ado let us start our tutorial to create this presentation we would need a circle we'll go to auto shape gallery click on oval and we'll remove the shape fill and then we'll resize it to 5.5 inches and then we'll align it to center and middle and then we would need uh, a 3d model of uh, sun we'll go to 3d models stock 3d models we'll type sun here choose sun click on insert we'll resize it to 2 inches both height and width align it to center and middle now we'll uh, insert earth from stock 3d models type earth choose earth from here and click on insert we'll resize it to 0 0.8 inches both height and width we'll drag and drop it here exactly at, th at this place and then we would take another uh, circle to create an orbit for uh, moon we'll go to shape fill make it no fill and then we'll resize it to 2.5 inches will drag and drop it here so this is exactly how we need to do while working with the shape so this is exactly at the center of this secondary circle so uh, now that we have uh, inserted all the uh, circles and uh, 3d models we will take uh, moon from 3d models here stock 3d models and we'll click We'll type moon here, choose moon and click on insert. We'll resize it to 0 0.3 inches, both height and width. We'll drag and drop it here and then we'll choose the secondary circle and the 3D model of moon and we'll click on control G and group it. Now that we have inserted all the 3D models and circles, uh, we just have to animate uh, uh, these objects and then all our project uh, will be ready. So let's start uh, the animation uh, with the sun. We'll, we'll rotate it so that uh, we can have the uh, top side of uh, sun uh, reflecting in the slide. And then we'll go to animation. We'll choose this uh, turntable. We'll open the animation pane. We'll go to animation settings, effect options. We'll remove smooth start, smooth end. Go to timing option. Make it start with previous and duration will give seven, five seconds and make it repeat until end of slide and click on OK. And then go to effect options, make it counterclockwise. So this is working fine now. And then we'll go ahead and animate earth. We'll go to add animation, choose turntable, effect options, remove smooth start, smooth end, timing, start with previous, duration will give 5 seconds, repeat until end of slide. We'll go to effect option and choose clockwise. And then we'll again add another animation to um, Earth 3D model. We'll go to add animation, we'll go down and we'll choose this uh, motion path animation shapes. We'll go to effect option and make it reverse path direction. And then we'll uh, click on this uh, rectangle and we'll drag and drop it here exactly in the middle of the of the slide just like this. And then uh, just click on these uh, points and drag and drop them, resize them 
as per the circle it's very easy it's not difficult so this way um, our second animation is also complete we'll just have to change some few settings we'll go to effect options we'll remove smooth start smooth end go to timing option make it start with previous and uh, duration will give will give duration of 10 10 seconds and make it uh, repeat until end of slide and then we'll click on ok and then we'll choose this for now what we'll do we'll remove this um, turntable model as of now because we need exactly the same animation applied to the um, lunar uh, orbit as well so we'll choose uh, this earth 3d model and we'll click, click on um, animation painter and we'll copy paste this same animation to this lunar orbit as well so you can use your uh, arrow keys right arrow key to align it properly just like this so it's sitting accurately uh, over the circle so now that uh, we have uh, completed this uh, um, we'll add uh, another animation to this um, lunar orbit we'll go to add animation and uh, we'll choose this uh, spin animation over here we'll go to effect option first make it uh, counterclockwise and then we'll go to settings uh, effect options we'll go to timings make it start with previous and we'll give uh, the duration as three seconds and make it uh, uh, repeat until end of slide and now we'll choose this uh, go to shape format um, go to shape outline and make it no outline we don't require any outline as such uh, over here so we'll finally give this uh, earth 3d model uh, a lost animation and that will complete our project we'll go to add animation and we'll go to turntable and then we'll go to settings effect options remove smooth start smooth end Go to timing option make it start with previous give it a um, duration of five seconds repeat until end of slide this will be fine and then you go to effect option and give it uh, clockwise now everything is uh, looking fine so probably you have to rotate it like this so that uh, the top area is visible and then if you want you can uh, uh, choose this and put it above the other animations and finally uh, we have to insert um, image of space we'll go to pictures i have already saved uh, a picture in my system i'll go to the particular folder and i'll choose the space one then i'll uh, click on this control x cut then go to format background choose this option picture or texture fill and click on clipboard it's already copied to clipboard so it will get inserted to the slide as a background so now we close all these uh, animation and background uh, stuff we'll choose this uh, circle we'll go to shape format and uh, we'll go to shape outline we give it a color uh, white and then uh, we'll go to shape outline and then we'll go to dashes and we'll choose this so it will look like a it will look like a orbit so now that all the uh, animations have already been applied uh, to the 3d models and uh, the orbits so let's see how it's looking in the slideshow it's looking extremely beautiful so everything is uh, working fine so this is how uh, you create uh, the cluster of both solar and lunar system in powerpoint if you know how to use uh, the tools available in powerpoint you can design your imagination whatever you imagine you can bring that to life and showcase this uh, in your presentations so friends if you like this video please uh, um, subscribe to our channel and share it with uh, 
as many friends of yours as possible so that they can also benefit from this uh, uh, informative and educational uh, videos and um, all i would say is keep learning keep growing by, by this i'll be signing off thank you